All right. So this is like my umpteenth try. I made the whole video was too long, but um. Okay, so my sister and I went to Michael's a couple of uh yesterday. I mean, and we picked up a couple. Was it yesterday? I think it was yesterday. We picked up these coloring books yesterday because, as a family, kind of want to do coloring therapy and color a lot. And since um, I draw stuff, I'm trying to challenge myself and make the draw the coloring actually good. It's just I don't have very many Crayola coloring pencils, <laughs> so I feel like I need to definitely stop by the storage and pick up some more. My sister picked up Terrific Tessellations because she kind of wants to do more adult coloring, her words. And yeah, I think her pattern is pretty good. So she's very consistent. I kind of want to challenge myself and take a page and draw three lines throughout the page in a wave going up. And I want to take the bottom and color one pattern one way and gradually change the coloring as I go up the page. But to make it more of a challenge, I think I want to go um, either warm to cool or cool to warm or use a sort of color scheme, you know, tertiary, something like that. I just go and change it as I go up the page, because that would be more of a challenge for me. Um, another thing, I'm starting to draw a little bit more manga and anime because I started reading vlogs and stuff by this woman who's on her way to becoming a mangaka herself. She was the assistant artist for a mangaka that made Prince of Tennis. And I think that's really inspiring because I used to want to make mangas. That was the dream that I had when I was 13 years old, is to make a manga myself and have my characters on t-shirts and lunchboxes and bobbleheads and all kinds of things. So that's what I wanted to do. And I'll hopefully be able to make that dream come true eventually because that's what I actually want to do. Make my own manga, comics, books, animations, and stuff. And this is the drawing that I made my friend. She likes girls, so I made a light eerie for her. It's this fairy princess that's blessing her fairy knight. So she's kissing the top of her head. Um, I thought the head was a little bit too... Big, but I figure since she's taking her knight is taking on the male role, her head being bigger is all right. Um, my boyfriend also challenged me to do an SAO uh, charcoal drawing of a scenic scene that my boyfriend and I both like. Um, so I will be doing that. Also, I'll be drawing on comic book artboards finally. I'm usually scared to draw on these things because, like, like this set of comic book art boards is $30, and there's only, there's only, like, 24 pages in these things. Expensive for materials and stuff. Um, but I do want to practice inking, and I do want to practice that kind of stuff, so... I started doing that, and my friend wants me to do a hard Yuri, or a Yuri, girls, on girls, because I play RuneScape with him, and both our characters are girls, and he kind of wants something, <laughs> a, a risque drawing of the both of us getting all, like, I don't know, we're just, you know, one of those drawings. So I'm going to draw him one of those, and I'm on the way, hopefully going to be trying to finish a birthday present. For my cousin that I've been working on for like three years because it just took me a while to finish hers. And I'm also going to be working on my mom's drawing for Mother's Day, which that day passed. So it's late <laughs> at this point. Um, 
anything else? I don't have anything else new. Um, I went dancing with my friend last night. That's why I have the necklace and the earrings. I only wore the earrings this night, but I've always wanted a necklace like this. So I bought this at Play-Doh's Closet and stuff. I just, I just thought these kind of necklaces are really cute. But I'm going to stop the video right now since I have nothing else really more interesting to talk about. But um, I'll post on DeviantArt and my website and my Facebook and other places. So you can tune in.